Pisces, I'm Sean from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I've got my website up and running. You can find the all the information in the description box below and if you would uh, go and have a scout around on the website there's different types of readings and um, there's also super chat and super stickers available when I'm live. I do go live nearly every day uh, unless something comes in between. And this is your reading for the 10th to the 16th of February. Because there is also Valentine this week, um, I have put in the Romance card. But if you haven't seen your Romance reading yet, then go ahead and have a look on YouTube and in the playlists under Romance, Romance 2020. And you'll find your romance readings there for the week and for the year. So go and have a look. If you're new, welcome to the channel. And please subscribe and hit the bell if you would like to be notified. If you don't want to be notified, don't hit the bell. And also for my cyber angels, you can also become a cyber angel when you come into the life. Then you can get your wings. You'll be one of my cyber babes. I'm known as Cyber Mum, and thank you for coming back if you're a faithful follower. Just a tip, uh, please subscribe um, to your favourite readers because uh, YouTube is doing changes. They're going from the old to the new system and the search robot or whatever is deleting um, memberships, uh, people that have subscribed, uh, but don't visit the uh, channel or whatever their, their choices of uh, channels frequently enough then they will get thrown off and deleted so please uh, come back again to your favorite readers um, uh, Brenda Tarot readings um, that lady she's a beautiful reader she's also mentioned it to her viewers and now I heard this morning uh, North East Tarot has also um, not, uh, told their readers subscribe and come back because YouTube is changing systems and making big changes and you heard me about that the last couple of months so please be warned if you would like to see your uh, favorite readers then please subscribe and it will be saved in your library okay now, um, we have to endure the changes as well. You've heard me moaning about changes and not being able to go live in technical stuff. But enough of that. Um, if you would like to have an extended reading, then go to the website. Um, I'm still trying to fix an issue because in the future it will be uh, called a card. You will find an eye in the screen. I think it will be on your right hand side here. Um, in one of the corner, in one of the corners, anyway, you'll see a little eye appear, and click on the eye, and that's when you will get news or the information about my website. You can click on that as well. Okay, my darlings, well, uh, welcome back. And um, this is your reading. I'm using the Wildwood Tarot. Uh, cards for Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the overall energy. Then I'm using the Angel Romance deck, as I said, the Surrender deck, the Angel Feather deck, and Wayne Dyer uh, Inspiration deck, and the Witch's Oracle. I love all my cards, and I feel really chuffed with all of them and rich. All right, the first card that you have is the Seven of um, vessels, so is the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is really um, dreams, goals, thinking about uh, what you want, uh, wishing. So you might be wishing what something, um, but make it realistic, okay, my sweeties, and um, get into action. And usually when I get this card, I say to my querent, um, make a priority list. See what you want, 
the most and will be the quickest to get it. Because it's okay to wish, but you have to get into action by visualizing and manifesting. Let the universe and the angels know what you wish so they can help you to bring it to you much quicker. If it is a job that you seek, then you have to also undertake action by looking for a job that you wish to do. And they will, they will try to send you to the right place at the right time. This is how you can keep motivated and not just dreaming and wishing and getting demotivated. So get into action, make it happen and you'll be all right. It will come quicker to you if you take action. Then you have the queen of vessels, and that is called salmon. Salmon. And it looks more like a rainbow trout because of the spots on his back. Ah, I think it's awesome. So that's the queen of water, the queen of cups. And um, the seven of cups means morning. In the uh, small arcana, you do have <coughs> um, uh, a little meaning on the side. And mourning. What are you mourning about? Like I said, if you, it, it's that's their interpretation. You might be mourning because it's not happening. Your your dreams and goals are not being fulfilled. But like I said, you have to come into action. Okay. Now the Queen of Cups, uh, Pisces. That is you. But you could also be meeting another Pisces. You could also be meeting. Uh, uh, Scorpio or um, Cancer. I forgot. I forgot. And the Queen of Cups is also. Let's have a look. I make little notes now and again. Um, and the Queen of Cups is also Scorpio. She's rep she represents Scorpio. So it might be that you are um, meeting a. Scorpio, that's prominent, but don't exclude another Pisces or Cancer. That is on Wednesday. She's a loving, nurturing, um, sensual, sexy, uh, passionate, loving person. It might be somebody that works in the healthcare that you might be meeting. It could be a friend of yours that you're meeting up with. Also, a nice one. Okay, um, that could be a dream if you are if you're a man you would like to have a loving, nurturing, passionate, sensitive, um, also perhaps psychic or an emotional, balanced person. Um, then you could be meeting them on Wednesday. I don't even know when um, Valentine is, and Valentine is on Friday. Valentine is on Friday. So if you are meeting her on Wednesday, whether you're a woman or a man, uh, it could be your new Valentine. Ooh, nice one. Then we have the Ace of Arrows, and that's the Ace of Swords. So that means victory is yours. That is imminent on Friday. Victory is yours. Wow. So something is happening on Valentine's Day for you. And I know what. And I know I'm making somebody happy because I got a question. Am I going on holiday for my birthday? I think you are. Ooh, even sooner. <laughs> it's lovely. It's lovely, lovely. I always have to think of my uh, cyber angels and what they ask. Sometimes it is prominent and then I remember it when something like this happens, when the honeymoon card comes out. Because that means holiday, of course. You don't have to go on a honeymoon. And it is it will be Pisces time very uh, soon, because we are in Aquarius still. Okay, Pisces. So um, we are going into the moon of Leo today. So it will be moon, full moon in Leo today. Uh, I've heard people say that. So. Um, I'm just passing the buck. I do uh, muck around with uh, astrology, but I am not really strong into the planets and where they are and what they do. But remember, we're not just one sign. We are made out of different elements. 
we've got planets, we've got the moon, we've got the rising, um, the rising sign. So if this reading doesn't resonate with you, then look at your moon sign or your rising sign. And um, it's we're we're complex and but we're 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 lovely as people. We are lovely, and that is our duty to live up to, and to fulfil, to pass on love, peace, nurturing, etc. Uh, etc. Et and the water signs, as you know, Pisces is also very spiritual. So listen to your intuition, especially on. Wednesday, but victory is yours on uh, Friday. Something might become clear to you because it is the Ace of Swords. Justice might be done with regard to something if you are in a, a judicial situation. You might start a new study. You might start a new job in the in municipalities or the justice system or uh, something that re represents cutting or communicating or passing on the wisdom like a teacher, a hairdresser, uh, a judge, uh, a lawyer, a bookkeeper, uh, anything to do with the law, the letter of the law, because the swords stand for communication, wisdom and justice and honesty and clarity. So something might also become very clear to you on Friday, perhaps that somebody loves you. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarium. Wow, amazing. But, and um, the, uh, I think this is the King of Vessels. So water is quite eminent, it very, very predominant in this reading. So it could be an other water sign that you're meeting up with or getting married with or that you are partnered up with and something might become very clear that you're going on holiday with your water sign because we've got the knight of water and he might bring you he will bring you news but he could also be making you an offer of marriage this week and perhaps in the weekend because the weekend starts on Friday, perhaps on Valentine's Day. Ooh, 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 nice one. The overall energy is the Kingfisher, and that is the King of our Arrows, the King of Swords. So again, you've got the swords here. So water, you've got three water and two air cards. So Libra, Gemini and Aquarius is prominent. So you might be getting a proposal from an air sign, perhaps, if you are not matched up. Or an air sign might tell you something that will clarify. And you might seek um, advice from an older um, professional man, because um, the King of Swords, like I said, stands for justice, communication, wisdom, um, and uh, what was it? Uh, communication, justice, and wisdom. So uh, wisdom means that you might seek uh, advice from a professional person that can talk very clearly, or you might talk to um, uh, an air sign and get clarity uh, by talking to somebody. Um, and. He's quite, he, he, he will cut straight through to the core and get clarity and honesty for you if you are in a judicial system, my darling. Now, we're going on to the Oracle cards. And you have surrender to inner peace. Believe in yourself, my sweetie, that something will come to you that will be clear. Uh, perhaps something, some information will come to you that gives you clarity um, and then it will give you inner peace. So don't mourn, just work at it and the Ace of Swords or the Ace of Arrows is br breath of life, a breath of life and the uh, Knight of Swords is the eel, okay? Uh, the Knight of uh, Vessels is the um, 
eel and the king of arrows is the kingfisher. Okay, beautiful. So surrender to something, uh, to your inner peace. And something will become clear to you this week and that will bring you inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. Wow. Amen. And when I see this picture, you've got the seagulls around you, so you are getting news. And spread your wings. She's got her arms out like that. So spread your wings. Then we've got the green, I think it's the emerald green, Angel Feather, Restored Health and Healing. Now, perhaps you might have been concerned about your health. Um, so perhaps that will uh, be the message that's coming in. That everything is all clear and give yourself time and, give you, and relax so that you can um, surrender to inner peace. The healing angels have heard your prayers for improved health, they send healings, healing rays of green light that will assist you or a loved one to heal physical or mental conditions. And green is also for me the um, heart chakra and that is Angel Raphael. So if you need an angel, call on Angel uh, Archangel Raphael. Green for me also means that you need to go outside among the luscious green, but it's winter in some of the parts of the world, then you cannot go outside. So bring in green, buy a plant or two or a bunch of flowers to spruce up your environment and your life. It also means that most probably money is coming towards you. Then we have Wayne Dyer and the card from Wayne Dyer. See results, not failure. And what do we have? We have a forest. So go into where there are lots of trees. Let um, slender through the leaves on the ground and listen to the rustle of what the sound they make when you slender walk through the leaves. As you look back on your life, know that you've failed at nothing. All you've done is to produce certain results. You can send love to those who were, who were hurt by you and forgiveness to yourself to heal your inner agony. You can view it all as what you needed to experience order to get to a higher place. I'll repeat that. You can view it all as what you needed to experience in order to get to a higher place. See the results. You've done nothing wrong. Then we've got the toad. And uh, I don't know whether you can see it because it's pretty dark, but it's pretty awesome. Perhaps you might be kissing the toad this week and finding your prince. Aha, that's awesome. I love it, I love it. And the toad. The meaning of this card, when this card appears in a reading, you may be experiencing change in your life. The change might be in regard to how you lead your life, but can also be of, in, uh, of a spiritual nature. Call on the toad to guide you through these times of transitions and help you smoothly move from one state to the next. The toad will support your transformation or metaphor. Uh, met Metamorphosis, metamorphosis 
in a subtle yet powerful way. Well, what did I say? I said to you, you might kiss a toad and you become the prince. And it is a transformation, that. So, wow, amazing. Now, the inc incantation or the affirmation that you can use, sometimes things come and things go. Change is just like an ebb and flow. Now I accept what has come to be because it is the best for me. I love it. So I hope you have enjoyed this reading too, Pisces. And now the last card and the best card. You've got the honeymoon card. You've already seen it. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So there is somebody out there that has their answer now. Okie dokie. I love doing the readings for you and please share and like this video with family and friends. And please give us the thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed to Charlie's Angel Terror. And I hope to see you in the life. Love you all. Bye-bye, my cyber babes and new viewers. Thank you for being here.